Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Extreme Z area that has come for obviously the Int free to play freezer, well the update to the existing Wicked Bloodlines Extreme Z area and basically how you can get it done. So essentially to cut a long story short, uh, this Extreme Z area is an old school one. So you have limited characters but you also have two stages and each stage has a left and a right hand sided path that you have to take. Now to awaken Freezer you'll need 15 bronze, 40 silver, 30 gold and 30 rainbow medals. Which means on the normal difficulty you will be able to obtain the bronze and the silver medals. On the left hand sided path is the bronze, on the right hand sided is the silver. You'll have to do each side three times. And if you get a question mark, that will reduce the amount of times that you have to do it. Question marks will give you one bonus run of each medal. The same applies to the second difficulty. So you need to run that one three times on each side to get your rainbow and your gold medals. So all in all, it's a bit of an old school throwback. Not too certain why they did that, because I believe the single path method came out before the ninth annie, but it is what it is. In terms of the team, there are some summonable units you can use, but generally speaking, you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, the units that you can use are very accessible uh, outside of the Prime Battle Freezer. Right now, you can probably farm all of these units very, very easily and very quickly. Most of them are Super Strike units, so they're very simple, very straightforward, and you should farm them anyway, because they give tons of stones. In terms of the actual fight, nothing too wild. Freezer is a int type character so obviously you want to have as minimal tech units as possible and uh, on top of that you basically just want to make sure that you can have as many physical units as possible as well. That's pretty much it to be honest with you there's not too much more really to cover I think everything is uh, really straightforward and simple and yeah honestly Freezer's EZA looks okay uh, we'll have to see just how good it is in another video, but I think overall, you know, most players are probably going to be happy uh, with what they're seeing. You know, uh, I think most players will probably be very, very satisfied uh, with everything. So, yeah, all things considered, a pretty straightforward Extremes Awakening. So, in summary, you need to do the first difficulty of the stage six times. You need to do the second difficulty of the stage six times. And then, obviously, on top of that, basically, you should be pretty much good to go. So, that's really it. Uh, obviously, Freezer himself, you want to make sure that you have his uh, backup copy of him at 5 SA. The reason being is you want to make sure that you can feed that into the Extremes Awakened Freezer so that you can raise his super attack level to 15. That's pretty much everything you need to do. So, honestly speaking, not too much. Um, I think, yeah, overall, very, very straightforward. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, obviously leave a like. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about Freezer. And if you're struggling, let me know what else you need to know. And I'll gladly help you out. But uh, for now, that's pretty much it for me. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, take care, stay safe. And uh, as always, Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. You don't need to easy a freezer as a part of the summon ticket missions, so outside of that, you should be pretty much good to go. But yeah, that's it from me. See you. Bye.